Now for the same wave, that is E x is equal to E naught sin k z minus omega t. We'll try to discuss what its frequency will be. Okay, so. So we again have we, we will again have that trouble that trouble of of two variables now now what is what is first of all a time period what is a time period the time taken for one oscillation correct the total time taken for one oscillation is something that is called time period. This is this is the conventional thing that you are being taught over and over again. So, time period is the time taken for one oscillation. Unit is meters. Sorry. Unit is second extremely sorry wavelength that we studied earlier unit meters length okay what is the frequency what is the frequency and and how do you denote time period capital. by capital t conventionally we use capital t to denote it frequency is the number of oscillations per second understand that is the number of oscillations per second fine this is denoted by by new new not mu, mu is this, this is new, okay, and it has a pointed, pointed turn, when you turn it, it is pointed and one of the, one of the arms is made longer than the other, so as to, so as to differentiate it with V, understand? So the, so the difference is quite subtle, very small kind of difference. And if you're not careful, you, you end up writing it like this, which incidentally starts representing velocity. And both of them somehow drop into the same, same equation. Hmm? So that is number of oscillations per second. Okay. Now number number has no unit so per second will have a unit hence its unit will be per second okay now let us try to relate them one oscillation gets completed in how much time t seconds okay Or, or, or I'll say, or I'll say, extremely sorry, t seconds are required, are, or in t seconds, one oscillation takes place, takes place. So, in one second, one upon t oscillation will take place. No, so many oscillations, and hence this should be the frequency because it is number of oscillations per second. Therefore, nu is equal to one upon t, first of all.
okay new new okay this is pronounced pronounced new understand this is mu the okay the thing that you use for microseconds that's why m that that is that sound is m okay <coughs> so new is equal to 1 upon t now again i have a trouble now i wish to analyze this now i wish to analyze this with respect to the time so again it is it is it is uh, common sensical to switch off the space what what does it mean switching off space so so what do i say okay fine i i erase this what do i say i say i put z we put z equal to 0 what do i mean by that by saying that z is equal to 0 what do i mean i mean that i am stationed at z equal to 0 understand i am stationed at z equal to 0 I focus only at one point. We put z equal to 0 and let t vary. Let the time vary. But you will you will do what? You will you'll you'll concentrate only at one point. Okay? You'll concentrate only at one point. So what happens? <clears throat> what happens if I concentrate only at one point and allow the wave to move? What will happen? Okay. So let us try to understand that. Let us try to understand that so this is our wave okay i have drawn it on a sheet of paper this is my sinusoidal wave the first trouble that that you will face is where is the oscillation what oscillation are you talking about we are not able to understand what an oscillation is in a sinusoidal wave that is the first trouble that you will face at least i had faced when i was studying where is the oscillation because we have i we have been i had been programmed into thinking that suppose you you start with the pendulum you leave it like that it goes like that it comes back so i can see okay it has come back to the same point oscillation where is the oscillation in this okay we are not able to see an oscillation here right now this is our wave, but, but the trouble is that, that this wave will start moving like this, okay? So, so what I say, you consider you are stationed here. Okay? So when I, so, so this is, this is like this, okay? This is to the, this is our origin. You'll understand why I've drawn this. Okay, so what happens? This wave starts shifting like this. Correct. It moves, starts moving like that. And I am stationed at z equal to 0. So I am stationed, I am supposed to focus only at z is equal to 0. And z is equal to 0 is, the, is this point. So what I do, I, I block you. I block your vision. So that you are able to see only through the slit. Okay. So you are at z equal to 
zero. Fine. Now, now look at whatever you are able to see through this. The red part, that is the wave. Is it not? The red part is the wave. Now what happens? This starts moving. So what do you see? You see, though, though this looks as a line, but if I had drawn it very, very thin, but then it will not be visible on the video. Fine. So this is a point, right? So you see, as the wave starts progressing towards the right, you see that, that a point goes down. Is not? That a point, again see this, that a point starts going down. Is it not? This starts going down. Down. I am not moving this. Watch that. This goes down. Then this point starts going up. Correct? Then it starts going up. 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 Here. It's here. It's here, right? This, this, this is the axis that I had drawn. So it is here. Up. And down. 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 Now on the way to moving further down. So, so let me draw this. So after this, it would have gone something like that. Okay. You get the concept of oscillation? Not yet. If you look at this point, if you station yourself at z is equal to 0, you find that a point has, you find that a, that a point has moved down, down, then it starts moving up, 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 up. Again moves down, 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 and again the whole cycle will repeat. You see? It's again, again on the way down. Do you understand what an oscillation is? What has happened to the point? I saw that it went down all the way, it went up all the way, it came down. You see what an oscillation is? In a sinusoidal wave, do we understand what an oscillation is now? Otherwise, it will not be that understandable what an oscillation is. Hmm? So one oscillation gets completed when the, the point and the sense of movement has started repeating itself. So what happened? The point went down, the point went down, the point went up, it again came down on its way down. So the point went down, then it, it went down, then it sort of started moving up and then it came down, came down and it started repeating the same cycle. That is what oscillation is in a sinusoidal wave. Okay? So when I say I station myself at z is equal to zero, I force myself to look how the point, how, how that point moves when the wave moves. Okay? I, I'll do it once again and this time I'll try to, I'll try to with, with the elapse of time, I'll try to plot it. So, so now what has happened? Now what has happened? This is what I'll do. This is what I'll do. This is now time. Do we see that? This is time. Let us try plotting it. So it is here. I focus here. The time changes. Time changes. So I start becoming negative. Is it not? It starts becoming negative, reaches a peak. So it starts becoming negative, reaches a peak. Why has it become curved? Because all the while when this was changing position here, the time was moving. You cannot freeze time. Okay? So, so say it was at time t equal to 0, it was 0. I, I moved it. 
so so when it was this distance down the time had moved you see and when i moved it ahead the time had again moved so so this distance is at some other other point of time if the time was frozen it will become a straight line up and down correct it it becomes the maximum negative so maximum negative it moves ahead so it starts becoming it is negative but starts increasing so it goes like that it becomes zero 